Most people in America claim that they believe in a God. And after all, that is what our nation of America was founded upon. When I'm sitting here talking with you, I'm thinking about what it is I need to share with you as a pagan priest. The first principle I would share with you is please go out to the International Pagan Federation website that's very simple and it's HTML and will provide you the overall principles of a pagan so that you have the right understanding of the definition of the world or people generally across the world who practice paganism. And paganism, generally speaking, is a form of religion and faith. It's a type of denomination, sort of like Wiccan, sort of like Methodist, sort of like Catholic, sort of like Lutheran, sort of like uh, Paulistic, and I'll start running out of the stuff that I remember in my head. But the reality is that we have a practice of faith. Catholics have a practice of doing the rosary beads. Methodists have a practice of music, right? They were Wesleyan, if you will. And other people, Lutheran, have other practices, but they still have priests in their ministry, both women and men. And they're pretty open to diversity versus other religions. And how they raise their children is through their practices of their faith and their version of the Bible, which you know there's hundreds of them. But a pagan has the right to read anything he likes on the house of God. The house of the Lord is a built up of a heavenly father and a divine mother that had some offspring that prolificated in the world and produced a lot of good books. And that's all I'll say about it from my point of view and opinion. As a pagan priest, however, I have had metaphysical spiritual training as well as, as a heretic, according to Catholics, but a really great man at the Heritage in Indianapolis called Father Justin, who is not famous but is famous and he speaks eight languages, so you got my attention with that alone. He's also a marvelous elderly gentleman. I hope he's still with us, but I studied with him some things on meditation and on other aspects of spiritually, spirituality in his building before it came a little bit too business-like. But that's what happens when we don't have a flourishing ministry. And I approve of him as a Franciscan monk. He really practices the three knots on his robe. In life, I want to talk to you about paganism a little bit, but not completely, because being a pagan means I celebrate people in their various faiths that are walking their faith in the light of the Lord. What I understand from the religious texts and interpretations that we see, of course, in Christian work, in other books, metaphysical work, Wiccan work, etc., is the interpretation of the house of the Lord. Now, when I'm saying this, we know that people have the right to read anything without censorship, purchase anything at any price, whether it's at half price books or a full on, full retail store of a bookstore, and literally watch anything online that's about spirituality and faith. Heck, even Oprah has some sort of Soulful Sunday sort of network at this time and at this venture and age demographic of her life. After a huge lengthy run as both a sort of journalist and talk show host. But what I'm talking about is our rights underneath the First Amendment, the opportunity to not be censored in terms of freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, and freedom of the press. Now having said that, I'm pretty sure freedom of the press not only covers journalism, but it also covers any type of religious work, any type of book I've written about religion, which I have. I have two spirituality books, one published already in soft cover, and another that's marvelously on the way, but God has said, wait, it's not the right point in time to submit that to people. And it was stolen by Sheriff, probably, and that's a bad problem, because it was my originals. But at any rate, as we get back to the concept of faith, I am a practical pendulum practitioner. One of my dear friends who has a gift of God called uh, Claire, uh, and I'm trying to remember, Sentience is sort of off track, but 